we tend to see growth stock as just a stock that has maybe risen in price uh, a lot, uh, uh, what we call a multi-bagger, a stock that has uh, returned more than 100%. But not really the case, right? Uh, you can see Shopify has grown a lot. Nestle in Malaysia also grow, grow a lot uh, in, in share price, but they are not necessarily the same. Right? They're not really both growth stock. Uh, and I think the best explanation of growth is actually coming from the formula of how we calculate uh, uh, the value of a stock. But basically, the G stands for growth, right? To find the value of the company, which is the, the TV, the value of the company, we have to rely on the growth of the company, which is the G here. So growth is actually just a subset of value, right? Every company that has value, their growth is a very important aspect of that value. And every company will have a growth factor, be it positive or negative. I'm always looking for a company that is growing more than the inflation rate. Our wealth, it is not constant. If we just hold on to our cash, uh, you know, put in your wallet, your money is actually slowly decaying away. It is slowly depreciating away because of inflation. The, the company with no growth uh, the value is stagnant, it means that the company is also slowly decaying because maybe the company is worth 1 billion 10 years ago and it's still worth 1 billion today. But that 1 billion is no longer as valuable as before, right? For a company to stay at least just constant, it should be growing together with inflation. So a company like Tesla, because there's so much hype in the company, the stock price is so high, uh, the management can easily raise a lot of money using equity and, and very small dilution. Right? But a lot of Malaysia companies don't have such luck, right? Because our stocks just don't go to crazy like 1,000 uh, PE or uh, crazy valuation. Uh, so a lot of Malaysia companies, when they want to grow, they end up having to use debt. And that's something that we have to consider. When is the point where we are comfortable with the level of debt and whether they, they something that we uh, it will become worrying for us? My, 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 my take is don't try and chase that hype. Number one is not a sure bet. Right? They doesn't mean they are good now. That would, they will mean that they will continue to be very, very good. Uh, and number two, we have to think about if they can sustain that cash burn. Uh, using either debt or equity in the long run. When we look at the margin, we see, oh, this company has much higher margin than competitor. Then we have to investigate why. Why is that the case? What is it that they have? They can do or they, they're special about their products uh, that they can have that mar uh, better margin. Don't just follow blindly that, oh, because this company have higher margin, it must be a good company without understanding why they can derive that good margin. Because a lot of fraud cases happens when a company just, you know, just put a high margin on their, on their, on their financials. And then uh, if we don't investigate further, uh, we might end up falling into uh, investing in some fraud cases. If I want to invest in this growth stock, I have to, I have to ask myself, uh, is the quality of this company, is the business model of this company so amazing? The quality is so great, right? So far out, so great that I don't mind that I put less emphasis on valuation. I Where the company is listed is very important. Large market like US or maybe to some degree the, the Hong Kong market, right? They are global market. This means that the global investors are investing in them. Let's say, for example, in the US, if a growth stock caught the attention of the of, of, of the investor globally, right? And, and say that, well, this is a game-changing uh, company, say like Tesla has an erratic uh, CEO um, if, um, and the whole world is, is captured uh, and captivated by, by the company, uh, all the capital in the world, like the whole world will pump money into this company. And the valuation can grow higher and higher. But when we think about growth stock in Malaysia, say, let's go back to the glove industry. Uh, they have been doing so well and their, their share price shot up this year uh, to 70, 80 times PE, right? Uh, compared to Tesla, it's still very cheap. But because Malaysia is a local market, 
that they will reach a point where the valuation is just too high for more investors to stomach and then the valuation would have to come down, which is what happens uh, to them. So think of uh, the market uh, places where they are listed in as well and think of the, the potential of where the demand of investors is coming from as well. And so valuation in the US market is taken less seriously, I would say. And valuation in, in smaller markets like Malaysia and Singapore would have to be taken more seriously. 